Hi guys, my name is Greena Gems Girl and welcome to a look at all of the prizes from the Backyard Beautification event in Sims Free Play. I have completed the event and have won all the prizes and some of them are absolutely amazing. I think they are so fantastic and it's going to allow us to create some awesome outdoor spaces. We will go through it in the order in which you win the prizes as you go through the event and we'll take a look at the designer backyard at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned to that. Go and give this video a thumbs up and we will get started at a look at all of the prizes. The first thing that we won were the plantable rose starter kit and you can find them in a new section of the home store called the planters section and as with all of the prizes you get one free to start off with and then you have to pay for all of the other ones it was these blue short concrete ones and I'm gonna place a couple down or I'm gonna place three down because we won three different trees and I'll show you how to work the planters as well just in case you are slightly confused on how to go about it so we got this tree which you can't just place on the floor you have to place inside the planter so we got a red one we got a yellow one and we also got a pink one. So here they are, this is what they look like, but you can change them slightly. If you click on the base, you can change to either a dirt base, a grass base, or there's a flower base as well, which is the one that we have here. The interactions, if you click on the plant, you can prune the plant for an hour and 40. You can water the garden for three hours and 20, or you can water and prune for five hours. And these are the interactions, so he's pruning there, with his saw, she's watering and he is doing both. So we just alternate backwards and forwards between having the saw out and having the watering can out. The next thing that we won was serene seating, which consisted of relaxing benches with designer fences and also entertainment benches with designer fences. The benches can be found in the outdoor furniture section of the home store and the fences can be found in the outdoor decorations. So we have two different colours, we have the blue and the black, we'll just go ahead and we'll place down one of each of them. There are corner ones, as you can see, there are also then one-seater ones, and then in the second pack we get two-seater and also three-seater ones. So we've got a corner, a one, a two and a three in both colours. And as you can see there from my home store, they, both colours, after you get your first free one, they are all still simoleons to buy extra ones, which is excellent. And the fences or walls that we got were we got a black waves one and a white waves one. And then you can place them behind like that and you can actually place them right behind, which it doesn't look like you can when you place them down. It doesn't look like you'd be able to because it looks like that green spot means that you can't place it down, but you actually can place it right up behind so we have a black one and then we also have a white one they are actually called walls in the description but they are one sp each once you have bought the first one this is what they look like i really really like them now you can't interact with the walls because kind of there's nothing really to do but the single one you can just interact with like you can a chair the two and the three seaters though you can interact slightly different you have the option to wait to chat on both of those and if you click just with one sim wait to chat and then with another sim click on chat with sim for 20 minutes and then they will sit on the bench there chatting away the next thing that we can unlock is the outdoor counters and there are two different unlocks for that there's the outdoor counter set and then there's the outdoor fridge and storage these can all be found in the outdoor furniture section of the home store Again, we are sticking with the blue and the black theme with these and you get a corner unit and a left and a right one from each colour. You can see there that after I have placed mine, the blue ones are simoleons to buy extras but the black one, the corner cabinet is 4LP and the left and the right cabinet of the black ones is 1SP each. This is what they look like and personally I think I prefer the blue one to be honest so I'm quite pleased about how that works out with the black ones being the SP and the LPs. And then the fridge and the storage that we got, obviously we got a outdoor fridge in both colours. The blue one and the black one. Now these are both 2LP after you purchase the first one. 
and then you also get a cabinet from each colour which are both just simoleons once you purchase the first one so that is very good and the interactions you can't interact with the counters of course but you can interact with the fridge just like you can with a normal fridge you can have leftovers or you can do cooking with it the next thing that was available to us was fenced off which included a set of vertical fences and then also a set of horizontal fences. These can both be found in the outdoor decorations tab. And you get two different colours with these. So we'll place the vertical ones down first. We get red wood and we get pine wood. And again with these, they can be placed right up against things, which I just think is fantastic. You can get singular ones and then double and quad ones and also corner ones. I've placed one of each of the vertical and the horizontal ones down and you can see the prices here. They are all simoleons once you have placed the first one down. So there's nothing to worry about in terms of LP or SP with these ones. And this is what they look like. Personally, I prefer the vertical ones by far, to be honest. The horizontal ones I am not particularly a fan of, to be honest. Also, I kind of feel like my thoughts when I first saw these were that like we already have a fence surrounding our houses like we get a fence with the plot it kind of doesn't really make sense to me to have these as well but I do like them but do you get what I mean like I feel like it's a bit strange if you like have a big house and then you've got this fence and then you've got another fence inside but I don't know if that's just my opinion the next thing that we had access to was the planter perfectionist which consisted of tall planters and plantables and short planters and plantables. We'll take a look at the tall planters and plantables first of all. These of course are found in the planters section of the home store. So we get a 1, a 2, a 2x2, two two, a triple, there's so many, and then a quad and we also get a corner as well. And then, so there's six different ones, and then we also get them in the blue. So let's place one of each of the blue down. Now the blue with this, the blue, once you have placed one down, they are then either LP or SP, which is a bit of a shame. But I mean, they're not a ton, to be honest. They're like a couple of LP or SP, so they're not a fortune in all honesty. You could plant those bushes that we got in the first section, but you also win in this loads of other little plantables. So we have a plantable duck. We'll just plant one of everything down and some of these are so adorable. A plantable bird bath there. We get a sundial, um, a sculpture. a round hedge, a maple tree, and then the gnomes, which I think may be my favourite. We get some green hat gnomes, and we get some red hat gnomes there. You can see from my home store now that most of those items are SP to get additional ones, other than the trees and the green hat gnomes. Everything else is either LP or SP, which is a shame, but never mind. In terms of interaction with them, they are all just that you can admire them for four seconds, other than the gnomes where you can water garden for three hours and 20 minutes. And again, like before, you can change these from dirt, grass, or flowers, whichever one you like the best. Look at those gnomes. Are they not just so cute? The last part of the planter perfectionist was the short planters and plantables and these of course are found in the planters section of the home store and as the name suggests we just have shorter versions of the black and the blue plantable pots that we had so we'll go ahead and we'll place one of each of everything down. As well as the planters, we also get some additional items that we can plant. And these can be planted in either the tall or the short planters. And you can see here the prices. Some of them are for simoleons and then some items are for LP or SP. But 
they are only like one LPA SP, so they are not much at all, so not too bad. And this is what they look like. So again, as with all of the planters, you can change them from being grass, dirt, or flower base just by clicking on them. And then in terms of the planter items, you have some little like fern bushes there, then some taller bushes, or tall like tree looking things, the clematis there, and then two decorative items. I think these are amazing. Like look at all of those planters that we can have. This is everything that we got. So lots of items for our backyard. But once we have completed the whole bar along the top, you unlock the designer backyard and you have to have bought all of the other sets. And that means that then you can claim the designer backyard, which has barbecues, pizza ovens, bar tables, patio and pool tiles, feature fences and fountains. So we definitely want to go ahead and claim that and we will check out the items that we got from that. Some are in the outdoor furniture, some in the outdoor decorations. We also get patio and pool tiles. So much stuff. In the outdoor decorations section first you can see that we have six new items in here. We have some walls that we'll just go ahead and we'll just place one of everything down. So four walls and two fountains. You can see there the price of them once you have placed your first free one. And oh my goodness, look at those fountains. They are amazing. Those walls are nice as well. I'm so glad that I managed to unlock those. Then in the outdoor furniture section, we have the pizza ovens and things. So let's go and place these down. Oh my goodness, these I just love this. I can't wait to see my Sims making some pizzas. So here's the prices for those. And the black items are all for simoleons. And then the blue items are either for LP or SP. And quite a lot for some of them. Let's take a look at what they look like. And I assume... Oh, the cook on barbecue for four minutes. And then let's check out the pizza. Cook pizza for four minutes as well. Here he is. Cooking on the barbecue, and then here is the pizza oven. So cool, look at that. I'd love a pizza oven. Oh no, she burnt the pizza. <laughs> Little story for you. Actually, if I've got a picture on my phone, I will insert it now. I'm not sure if I still have the picture on my phone. I made a pizza that looked exactly like that about two weeks ago. I'd put it in the oven, and then I think I went and was recording a video to be honest and I just got completely sidetracked and I think the pizza had been in the oven for like an hour. I can't believe I didn't smell it or anything beforehand but I, I hadn't smelt it and I was like oh my goodness a pizza I went in and it was just like completely black. It was a nightmare. But anyway there are the pizza ovens and the barbecues. We also have seven new patio pavings which obviously can be found in the patio paving section of the home store and oh my goodness that's a lot and there are some fantastic ones. Check them out. I really like these. Oh my goodness, yeah. They are so nice. And then in the balcony paving, we have the same seven that you can place on a balcony. So here they are up on a balcony. They are so nice, some of those. They are, yeah, I'm really impressed by those. And seven pool pavings, so the same ones that we have got for the patios and the balconies you can place around your pool. Oh wow, these look, these, oh my goodness, these add so much. I've, I didn't realise how much the paving around the pools kind of annoyed me that I didn't like the options that we had until we have gotten these. But oh my goodness, yes, I love those. Check out all of the stuff that we got so much cool stuff and of course we got a house template as well which is called the designer backyard house and the first one is free it can be placed on a standard and a premium lot the house is exactly the same whether you place it on a standard or a premium lot it is just the back garden that changes with a premium lot you obviously get more space but this is the house and i love it absolutely love it. it is such 
an awesome build making use of lots of the new features and lots of the new furniture that we have in the game and then of course they have an amazing amazing backyard with all of the items or with lots of the items anyway that we have just won from the event and a cool pool this is so amazing but do you know what i mean by having the second fence around it kind of looks a little bit strange do you think or is that just me i don't know let me know what you think down below in the comments but I am pretty happy with the prizes from this event. Let me know what you think about them. Did you manage to finish? I think that this one, for me anyway, was slightly easier than some of the events in the past. Some of the events in the past I haven't been able to finish and I've worked at them like crazy. But I was obviously able to finish this one without using any SP to speed anything up. Let me know how you did or how you were getting on. I am sure that they will bring back this event. They tend to bring back the events so that people can complete them if they didn't complete them the first time. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you soon for a new video. Bye.